Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. I am Huan Li from Princeton University. I'm very glad to share with you some of our recent works on the machine learning approach for magnetic core loss modeling. As we know, magnetic components such as inductors and transformers are typically the largest and least efficient part in power electronic systems. And precise modeling of, of magnetic loss, especially the core loss, is challenging. Most conventional models are quasi empirical, where the applicability and accuracy is really limited. However, in recent years, machine learning techniques, especially the deep neural network, have proved very effective in solving multivariable nonlinear problems. And the modeling, design, and optimization of power electronic systems are no exception. Inspired by this impressive previous work, we are currently trying to implement machine learning techniques to help us model the magnetic colors. The key idea here is to map a time series data, which is the excitation waveform, to a numerical value, namely the colors. And there are many potential feasible approaches that we are currently exploring. Firstly, some pure neural network models, such as a long short term memory network or one dimensional convolutional neural network, both of which are very good at dealing with time series input. Secondly, which is actually this work, is to integrate some mathematical waveform transformation tools into the network. And thirdly, there could be also some physics informed model where the existing physical models are integrated into the network. And in this work, we'd like to present a two stage architecture as an example. And here is the overview of this architecture, where the first stage is a waveform transformation network, which can extract information in both the frequency domain and the time domain. And the second stage is a neural network, which is trained to predict the colors based on the extracted information. Now let's have a detailed look of each stage. For the first stage, in order to extract information in the signals, there are many mathematical tools that are available. And in this work, we selected the wavelet transform. As mentioned above, it can also be replaced by some other neural network structures, which we will be exploring in the future. The wavelet transform will convert the time series into a 2D scalogram, as some example I showed on the right-hand side. And then we implemented a convolutional neural network at the second stage, which can take these 2D images as input, capture the information, and build up the desired nonlinear regression relationship. The figure on the right-hand side shows the block diagram of this neural network. And in order to train the neural network, a large amount of high quality data is needed. Therefore, we designed a hardware in the loop data acquisition system, which can generate arbitrary extensive waveforms and rapidly autonomously measure and collect the data. The following figure shows the schematic and photos of the system, and also several examples of the extension waveforms. To evaluate the effectiveness of this approach, a series of experiments are carried out. Details about the experiment setups can be found in the paper. Briefly, we have tested the performance of the approach in multiple scenarios, such as under single or multiple types of waveform and with single or different frequencies. And we also carry out repeating experiment to assess the uh, stability. Here, for example, we showed the prediction result on the single frequency case, where the network is trained to predict the call loss under the single frequency or type, uh, single type or mixed types of waveforms with the same frequency. And low relative error are achieved in all these cases we tested. The right-hand side, right side figures show the distribution and variance of error, where a low error rate with relatively small fluctuation can be observed. But it also shows that there is still a large space for further improvement. Experiment results on different frequency cases can also be found in the paper. It should be mentioned that the hardware system we implemented here is frequency limited, and tests are only done in a low frequency range. A new version is currently under development, which will enable us to do experiments at much higher frequencies. As for now, in order to test the approach across a wider frequency range, data points extracted from magnetic material data sheets are used as a supplement, where the color curves are digitized and interpolated and converted to sinusoidal waveforms that we need. The right-hand side figure shows the comparison of the predicted curves versus the, the original curves where a good match is achieved in most part of the curve. Finally, to sum up, in this project, we designed a two-stage machine learning architecture as an example for the colors modeling. With the support of hardware system, a series of experiments are carried out to evaluate the approach. And the preliminary result point out that machine learning could be 
potentially a promising approach for the core load modeling. But yet there's still a lot of things that remain to be explored. For the next step, we are planning to firstly upgrade the hardware system and perform measurements at higher frequencies. Secondly, investigate different types of neural networks and compare their performance and eventually further improve the accuracy and stability of our models. Appreciate your attention and listening. Thank you.